Did you always think that Celtic would kick on? Yeah, I think, you know, we had to look at last season as well. You know, we had a disappointing end to the year, but, you know, the way we came back and, and kicked on um, performance-wise as well, I think, you know, it's, it stood us in good stead. Um, and this year's been no different. Um, we've played a few games now and won every one of them, so, you know, we need to keep looking forward and, and make sure we continue that trend on Sunday. The manager made reference to your, your partnership with Hodgson last night. Talks about the understanding you two have. Um, I think we just feed off each other. I think, you know, Odson likes to come short and get turned at people and go at them, whereas I like to play in the, the last shoulder sort of thing. Um, and yeah, it's been working great and hopefully it continues for a long time. You know, he's a great player, he's playing at the top of his game just now and, you know, seeing where he finishes last night, you know, he misses the first chance but he's there for the second one to put it in and his free kick's just unbelievable. Um, and he'd done that, you know, at the weekend against Hamilton, so, you know, long may it continue for the both of us. Is that your free kick duty? Um, nah, I'm pretty sure he'll give me one, um, but it's it's his favourite side, you know, he likes, he's got some weird technique that he can get power and whip on it at the same time, um, I've, I don't think I've seen anybody hit a ball like that before, um, I normally just like to go for um whip on mine, but you know, he seems to have all sorts of angles he can put on the ball, so nah, listen, if he, he keeps putting them in the back of the net, it's, it's ideal for the team. The manager said that he, he doesn't seem to practice them much, uh, too. We both don't, nah, it just, it just uh, he just seems to step up and it's, it's just like a free shot to go for him. You know, as long as he gets over the wall and it seems to be going, being going on target, it'll go in. Um, hopefully I've no jinx done for Sunday, but um, but nah, he's a he's a wonderful player and he's only going to get better. Lee, can you tell us from your perspective what you felt happened between yourself and Sam Woods at Hamilton game? Um, nah, it was a, it was a come together. It was just, you know, a... Intentionally, I never meant to stamp on him at all. You know, as I was on my way down, just kind of caught my foot, and there was no other place I can I plant my foot on top of him. Um, but again, it was never going to be intentional. Um, I'm not that sort of player. Um, and you know, it's been dealt with now, so we, we need to move on. What did the referee say see, see you got booked for at the game? It was the, the coming together with, with Gogic. Um, obviously, Hamilton players are going to think I've, I've stamped on him, you know, intentionally. But you know, it's never been my never my intention. Um, and you know it's a bit of handbags after that, and you know the ref kind of got it under control quickly, and we move on. You're talking about the handbags. The handbags has landed Celtic a charge, and also what happened at the Thistle game. What do you make of the rules these days? Yeah, I mean, you know, you're always going to get a bit of confrontation, um, and it's just about the ref, you know, handling it as quickly as you can and, and trying to let the game flow. Um, obviously, the the powers that be of have charged us, but you know that's something for the club to to deal with on their half, and us as players, we just kind of focus on what we can do in the pitch. Do you think it's just a case when there is handbags that it should just be dealt with the referee at the time there's you know these things happen in a game or Yeah of course there's always going to be you know little bits and bobs but you know as long as it doesn't turn into a, a full scale you know riot you know 22 players at each other at, at each other's throats I think it, the ref can kind of deal with it quickly and we move on. That would become, become surprising when you do see these these charges that have been landed at the club. Yeah it is but you know that's what I mean they've, they've got a job to do and they need to you know take it serious but you know, I think the ref on Sunday, he, he dealt with it well. You know, he dealt with it quickly and, you know, we, we move on. The manager said that he'd had a quiet word with yourself after that. Did you just to say, listen, read it in when something like that happens? Yeah, obviously, my, the temper, my temper got the better of me. Obviously, I, I didn't want to get into a, a pushy match, but, you know, I'm being accused of something that I didn't intentionally mean to do and, you know, it was frustration. But, like I said, the ref dealt with it quickly. We both got booked and, you know, we went on to win the game. Yeah. So the manager says he might make a few changes for Sunday, but are you at the, the stage where you just want to play every game to keep you know, that momentum going, the fitness you know, pushing up as well? Yeah, of course. You know, any minutes I get on the pitch is, is going to be beneficial for me. Um, like you say, I might make a few changes, but I don't think I want to make, make a lot. Um, we've had that in the past that you know we've made a few changes, we've not been at our best. So, you know, have that in the back of his mind, but you know, we'll go there full of confidence and we need to be, bring a rig in because Clyde will be up for it and they want to cause another shock. There's not a lot been said about the time Celtic lost to Clyde that to get that's all the, all the warning you need. Yeah, exactly. You know, I think, you know, everybody was, was talking about that game and Roy Keane's first game and at Celtic and, you know, it's one you want to forget, but as just players, you know, we don't want to go there and, and be the, on the receiving end of a cup shock. We want to go, want to go there and, and make sure we're in the hat for the next round. You've obviously got a few goals since the winter break. How far do you feel you are away from getting back to your best? Yeah, I can still get a bit far. Um, I said that last week that you know as long as I'm getting minutes on the pitch and, and contributing to the team and, 
and helping the team get three points, you know, I'm only it's only going to be beneficial for me. Um, you know, we it's the games are coming thick and fast. You know, there's games every three or four days now, which again, if I'm selected and every one of them, I'll, I'll give my best to the team. And you know, the more minutes I get in the pitch, the more fit I'm going to be. When is the title run in and big games coming up? This is really the perfect time to be hitting your stride, isn't it? Yeah, of course. But I'll reiterate that it's not about me hitting full force or and getting back to my best. It's about the team getting three points at the end of the day. It's you know we are in a title race and we need to pick up maximum points each week. And if we can do that, you know we'll we'll hopefully have a good end to the season. But you know we take each game as it comes, and you know we've got a chance to to be in the hat for the next round on Sunday. Lee, one of the inevitable comparisons with the odds and involves your old teammate Mason Dembele. How would you compare the two players? Um, different. I think Odson Odson likes to come and get the ball to feet and you know dribble up players, whereas Musa was an absolute monster a guy. He was. He was a freak for his for his age, the size of him. And you know you see what he's doing now. He's been linked with you know multi million pound moves to the, the English Prem, and rightly so. He's doing doing so well. But you know if Odson keeps keeps doing what he does here, he'll no be far behind him. Do you think you've got that good forward with Odson because you're both kind of different types of strikers to an extent, play different types of roles? Yeah. Um, you know, you can see it. he goes short, I go long. He goes long, I go short. You know, you've seen the goal against St Johnson, how well we can link up last night as well. Um, we linked up and, you know, all of missed a great chance to, to put a seal on a, a great goal. But, you know, as long as we're, we're playing well and, and linking up, you know, the, the team's going to benefit. Yeah, it seems like Odson can score the goals that Moussa did, but he seems to be more to the game. He can sell goals for yourself and other teammates, can Yeah, that's no disrespect to Moussa. That, you know, Moussa was a team player as well. You can, you seen what he brought to the team. Um, his physical presence, his, his touch, his movement. But Odson seems to have all that in abundance as well. Um, and that seems to go unnoticed. But, you know, now you see why we've paid the money for him. He's such a big talent and, you know, he's only going to get better as the game's gone. How much do you enjoy playing in different systems and changing the roles you have? Um, I mean, the the systems we play, you know, as long as we go two up front, you know, it's it's going to help us um, going forward with, with the two strikers. But, you know, it's up to the manager what what he decides to go with, um, whether it be one or two or three at times. Um, we've all got the the capabilities to to play in the, any system we can. Um, you've seen that over the number of weeks. That, you know, it doesn't matter what system we go with, we, we go and we play with the, the exact same tempo and the exact same philosophy to get three points or make, us, make ourselves into the next round. And Lee, you talked about, you know, <clears throat> the way the team's playing just now and there's goals coming from everywhere, Julian, McGregor, yourself, Hudson. Do you, do you think the f team feels just now if the opposition score one, you'll score two, if they score two, you'll score four? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, ideally you want to keep a clean sheet at the back. Um, but going forward, we look like we're going to score at every attack. You know, like you say, the goals all over the team, whether it be a set piece or, or trying to break teams down. Um, you know, Hamilton was, was a difficult one at the weekend. It was, you know, for long periods of the game, we were trying to break them down. They were very, very well organised and defended for their lives. But as soon as we got that breakthrough, you know, it kind of just knocked the stuffing out of them a bit. And, you know, we, we got the decent win in the end. And just going finally back to the point, I mean, we all brought up playing football and there's always a bit, of, a bit of needle. Do you think that this is going to get taken away for the game and it, will it be a bad thing if it's taken away for the game, if clubs are getting hit with charges for a bit of squaring up? Nah, I think I don't think I'll take it away from the game. I just think, you know, they need to let the ref do their job. Um, the quicker the ref can deal with it, the situation on the pitch, the easier it'll be for, for everybody involved. And... I think he's got a match report to do after the game, so if he puts in that, that you know, he can be dealt with it as quickly as he could. Um, you know, hopefully there'll be no more silly charges. So you mean pretty much not re-referee a, a hearing or whatever, let's try and deal with the situation? Yeah, you want it done as quick as possible. Um, and like you said, the ref's got a job to do in the, on the park, so you know, the quicker he can deal with it, the better. Cheers, guys. Thank you.